God bless, friends. God bless. So I'm going to read Proverbs chapter 24 today with you. Amen. Let's get our Bibles. Let's get prepared. Amen. Glory to God. It's 34 verses. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord thanks before we start. Just try to fix my camera here. The lighting. Amen. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word that is presented to us today. I pray that you will just guide us through this reading and open up our minds and hearts to receive your word, your instructions, your warnings, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> so, I'm going to read this word in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says... Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them, for their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yeah, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. Wisdom is too high for a fool. The open, he openeth not his mouth in the gate. He that de deviseth to do evil shall be called a mis mischievous person. The thought of foolishness is sin, and the scorner is an abominable nation to men. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. If thy forbear to deliver them that are drowned unto death, and those that are ready to be slain. If thou sayest, Behold, we know it not, doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it? Question mark. And he that keepeth the soul, doth not he know it? Question mark. And shall not he render to every man according to his works? My son, eat thou honey, because it is good, in the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his rest in place. For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not when thy enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Lest the Lord see it, and is displeased, displease him, and he turn away his wrath from him. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall be no reward to the evil man, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? These things also belong to the wise. It is not good to have respect of persons in judgment. He that saith unto the wicked, Thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor him. But to them that rebuke him shall be delight, and a good blessing shall come upon them. Every man shall kiss his lips and giveth a right answer. Prepare thy works without the make, and make it fit for thyself in the field, and afterwards build thine house. Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause, and deceive not with thy lips. Say not, I will do so to him as he had done to me. 
I'll render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the slothful, and by the vineyard of the man, void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles had covered the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folded of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. Amen. Amen, amen, hallelujah. So when we look at verses 3 and 4, through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Amen. So just as a house is, is constructed, constructed and filled with goods that make it uh, livable, a commitment to wisdom builds up people. Amen. And ongoing knowledge edifies them and allows them to function together. And when we look at verses 5 and 6, A wise man is strong, yeah, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy war, and in multitude of counselors there is safety. Amen. So wisdom makes people powerful because knowledge provides strength. And it goes beyond the physical. Amen. A group of wise people can achieve victory in whatever they do. Amen. Wisdom. Hallelujah. And we're going to jump down to verses 13 and 14. Uh, and it says, My son, eat thy, thou honey, because it is good. And, thy, and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. So shall thy knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward, and their expectation shall not be cut off. Amen. So, wisdom's effect on the soul is comparable to honey, sweetness, in one's mouth, right? Those who feast on wisdom will never lose their hope for their future. Hallelujah. Never lose hope for the future. Amen. And when we read verses 15 and 16, it says, Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his resting place. Amen. For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. So you can fall seven times and get back up. You'll be raised up again. Amen. A just man. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Glory to God. So these verses serve a twofold purpose. To warn the wicked and to encourage the righteous. Right? It is foolish for the wicked to try to overpower the righteous. Because godly people have the strength and wisdom to endure difficult times. Because the Lord gives us strength when we are weak. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is the one that provides. Amen. And when we look at verses 17 and 18, it says, Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thy heart be glad when he stumbleth. Do not be happy when someone that is against you falls down and is, is fallen and having a hard time. Do not be glad. Amen. It says, <clears throat> um, hold on, what did I, <sighs> yes, uh, 18, lest the Lord see it and is displeased, uh, displease him. And he turn away his wrath from him. That's verse 18. Lest the Lord see it. And it depletes him. 
because he won't like that, right? And he turned away his wrath from him, hallelujah. Because if your enemy falls down and you're you're glad in it, and that displeases the Lord. And the Lord's like, no, I'm not going to correct him because you're glad and you're taking joy in this person falling down. It's not right, amen. So the wicked lack, lack in strength in God will be worn down by trials. It is important to remain humble, remain humble. Even when one's enemies suffer the consequences, hallelujah, of their sin. Because there will be consequences to, to sin. Amen. There's always consequences. Another person's judgment is no occasion to, to gloat or rejoice. Never gloat and rejoice. Like I said, never rejoice in someone's uh, um, circumstance. Amen. Uh, when we go to verses 19 and 20, it says, Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. Amen. So the righteous should, should not desire to be like the evildoers, right? Who have no future. Sin and wickedness lead to death. Amen. So it is foolish to envy people involved in such things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verses uh, 21 and 22. My son, fear thou the Lord in the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both? This is a call to fear to fear both God and the king, right? To respect those in leadership, both divine and human. Glory to God. And let's end it with, let's read 26. And it says, Every man shall kiss his lips that giveth a right answer. The one who tells the truth does something that is right Impleasurable. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thirty two says, Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instructions. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I like verses uh, 3. Through wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I That verse sticks out to me here. Quite a few of them stick out to me, but that is the one that I'll share. Amen. Um glory to god that is the reading of proverbs chapter 24 guys amen um always a pleasure amen giving the lord time reading the word hallelujah getting edified growing in wisdom hallelujah amen let's give the lord thanks for his his gracious word amen Dear Heavenly Father, we are very thankful for this word that was presented to us today, Father, this chapter 24, Father, of Proverbs. We pray that that it just guides us through life, Father, and, and that it will stay with us and help us be, be, you know, more humble and understanding and just go by your instructions, Father, and be warned by your words, Father, and just really listen to what you're speaking to our hearts today and to our minds, Father, for our life. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Almighty, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, guys. God bless you. Um, but that is the reading for today. May the Lord be with you today, tomorrow, forever. Blessings, friends. Blessings. Uh, you are loved. You are loved. Amen. Um, God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Amen. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and share the gospel, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, guys, and, and hit the bell if you don't want to miss the next video. But until the next reading, God bless you.